The film's very funny. I mean, it's probably the, the, the funniest British summer blockbuster attempt that we've had for quite a while. Um, the good thing is that it has heritage from a well-known TV character, long-running TV series, so there's a lot of love for the character. Um, and it is basically like a very long episode. Brilliant. So there is this massive obsession for Alan, Alan Partridge, isn't there? What makes him so popular? I think the appeal of Alan Partridge is we all know local radio DJs who traditionally have a bit of a habit of being very cheesy and perhaps saying things that they think are funny and aren't actually funny. They're just awkward. Uh, so I think that's why we have a lot of affinity with the character because, you know, as much as that format of radio is quite outdated, it's something we really love and the fact that he personifies that is something we feel very attached to. Now, you said we've watched him for years on TV. He'll be making his transition onto the big screen. Now, that hasn't always gone so well, has it? I mean, we've got examples, The Inbetweeners, that's gone well on screen. But then, you know, peep show actors, they're not doing so well. How do you think this transition will be made? It's always difficult to take something that is a short form program, half an hour funny episode and make it into a feature film because, you know, you have to fill it with more jokes. You have to stretch out, you know, the, 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 whole, um, the whole premise of, of an episode. Um, so there are a lot of pratfalls there. The benefit is that because we have an affinity with the character, we are more willing to go on that journey. And even if some bits aren't as funny as they should be or continually funny, you know, we still have that connection and we're willing to go with it. And how successful do you think it's been then speaking about the, the, the film specifically? It's always difficult to produce predict how successful one of these films is going to be because in between us wasn't a great film but it was massively successful and yet last summer we had Keith Lemon movie which was a, a critical and box office bomb um, and, and he's massively popular on TV so you just never know there does seem to be a lot of anticipation for the Alan Partridge movie Alpha Papa um, so I think it, it stands every good chance of, of being very successful it's also a case of what it's up against on its opening weekend.